I don't like doing reviews like these, but today we're gonna check out the Akai MPK Mini 4, which is the new iteration of the MPK Mini series. As you know, if you check out my channel, and I guess I have them leaked in the description box, I've reviewed almost every single version of the MPK on my channel. I do tutorials and stuff like that. So I'm not like a one-off content creator that just gets something and then just toss it in the background somewhere, you know, that type of vibe. Full disclosure, this review, and if people are wondering, because people always say I softball Akai when it comes to reviews, I have a long history of saying positive and negative stuff, but that's besides the point. People go with what they want. Uh, if you're looking for that kind of smoke in this video, I'm gonna be a little bit more professional about it. Does that make any sense, a Kai professional? But either way, let's begin. No spoilers, I will have that at the end like I usually do. So yeah, let's check it out. It's not in the box, it's just a thing I do. Okay, so I got this and spoiler alert, I did open it before turning on the camera, so some things will be unwrapped. This is the box in itself here. I'll just display the box because I think it's important that you see what you get right when you go to the store and the links in the description box if you care to check this out after the fact of this review and you know, it will be an affiliate link that will help support this channel. Uh, here we go, I'm just unboxing it. I gotta take it because it is pretty big. Here it is, uh, the MPK Mini 4. You know, I gotta remove this and you know, it's nicely packaged. That's something that Akai does extremely well. They package their stuff to where it is not abused. And if, of course, if you see anything that is defective or broken or something like that, make sure that you take it back or, or exchange it or whatnot. This is how it looks like. And off top, I noticed that the pads are much smaller than the pads on the MPC. And that means that they are much smaller than the other units too. So I have my MPK mini here. I went on ahead and grabbed it. For our scale, let's use a guitar pick. If I put the guitar pick on this unit, you can see that the guitar pick is much bigger than these pads. But if I put them on these right here, there you go. You can see that it's much bigger. Here we are, so you can see the pads are much smaller. And I'm actually shocked because when I saw Tetro demo this, it looks bigger. <laughs> Tetro does have smaller hands than me. I noticed that, and let's show you on the MPC. I'll show you right now in a quick top-down view. And you can see that the pads are much smaller than the MPC. So that's for scale. This is the MPK Mini Plus, which has 37 keys. It, look, it's not even that much bigger than the MPK Mini 4. And this is my one of choice of right now before I got the MPK. So this is what's left, what you get with your MPK Mini 4, which this is a USB Type-C to Type-C cable. So that's interesting. And then you get this little small quick start guide right here. Let's get a better view of the MPK Mini 4 from the top down. And you can see that it is nice and tiny. Bed feels, the key bed feels nice. I mean, you know, and the pads, they feel about the same in terms of quality with all the other MPKs. The knobs are endless encoders. So these are endless encoders. I remember years ago complaining that I wish they would change these encoders to endless encoders instead of fixed. And they did that. And I'm proud that they actually listened to feedback. These pitch and mod wheel knobs are new additions and this layout is really nice the back of the unit has changed a lot as you have a full-on midi out and then a usb type c connection in front of it i have the mpk mini 3 which has a usb type a and sustain so the sustain has been there but you see that it doesn't have the midi out as you can observe the new mpk mini is bigger than the older mpk mini however they feel the same in terms of build quality it just seems like plastic and I don't, i'm not trying to dismiss or disrespect or anything like that i think for 99 dollars you get what you pay for so i'm one of those type of people and midi controls in general don't have a long-standing history of being very durable, but these don't feel like they will break if you drop them the first time around. The pads are smaller than these right here. You can see some of the design changes, like it has this knob right over here. I forgot what they call it, just a joystick or whatnot. And they replaced that with pitch and mod wheels. And I, I like that change for what it is. Uh, this has way more buttons than the MPK Mini. Even though it's not fully pictured, you can see it's about the same in terms of the pads. The pads 
are smaller than the MPK Mini Plus, which is on the bottom here. And the screen is about the same size. Of course, this has, looks like around the same amount of buttons. If not, the MPK Mini 4 has more buttons. Uh, this one is more expensive, of course, but this is one that I really like the most. You know, in my opinion, as of right now, before having the MPK Mini 4, we'll see. If I was to show you the top of this unit, you can see there's more premium IO on the back in terms of what you could do with it. There's a MIDI in, MIDI out. So that is the difference there. And obviously, clock in, clock out, and CB and gate. When you get your MPK Mini 4, the first thing you should do is install everything, register it and all that. And I'm gonna show you how. When you get your MPK Mini 4, when you open up the box, you will have a scan here QR code. So scan that and then log in or make an account on akaiprofessional.com. On the back of the box, which is an awkward place to put stuff because anybody could scan and get all this stuff, I would think, but maybe perhaps I'm wrong about this, but you can scan this QR code and then you can get all of your software that is included. But if you're familiar with Akai products, then all you have to do is enter this 21 code into the Music brand account that you have. After doing that, you can install the M Music Brand Software Center and it will welcome you and you can register it right here where you hit add product, choose hardware, then enter everything after the 21 code right here. After all that, you can go to your hardware, then you can scroll down and you will see MPK Mini 4 right here. And then you could just go over here to this arrow and it will take you to the stuff that you need to do, which is install the new firmware that is available. After that, you just go to update now and then plug up your MPK Mini 4. You can then go back into my software and you'll see that you'll have MPC Beast there. Just download it. And then also you will get the Studio Instruments collection, which is just a collection of sounds from all the MPC stuff that we already know. I recommend installing the MPC Beast software because that is honestly one of the best things that you could do. I'm gonna go ahead and create a desktop shortcut and then we'll just install it. Let's go ahead and take a peek at the MPC Beats software. It's been a minute since I've used it and it says start by plugging in the MIDI device. So it just gives you advice about how you set stuff up. Now let's go into new MIDI mapping and then I'll go into factory and then select the Kai and I'm looking for the MPK Mini 4 and there is no MPK Mini 4. Oh boy, it's about to be one of those reviews. Damn, I guess I will select the MPK Mini 3 then. I don't expect it to work, but you know, we'll go there. Select your workspace, simple, advanced. I'll go with advanced because I am an advanced user and start making beats. And then you can go to empty project here. Let's go ahead and full screen this. So the MPK Mini, as you would imagine, because it has the drivers already, works without a problem, even the pads. Just observe the left side of the screen. And if you're wondering, the MPK Mini, which is the Mini Mark III, it also works. Pads work, as I do not play anything worth a damn. The MPK Mini 4 works, as I play more garbage. As you can imagine, there is a, a huge relief that the MPK Mini 4 works with the MPC software. Thank God. However, there is some cons here. The record button doesn't work. The play button doesn't work. The undo button and the automation button does not work natively with the MPC software. And I think it should bare minimal, right? Natively, without you having to MIDI learn stuff or just create a template. It should just work off top. Now I have the MPK Mini 4 plugged up to the MPC Live 3. And this is where things get interesting because thank goodness it works. Matter of fact, it works extremely good. Now this is after the update and I haven't plugged up USB type C to type A because it has two ports on the back of the MPC Live 3. So everything is working fine. I like that, thank goodness. However, proof of concept here, when I go back over into this view and I press the record button, it does not record, it doesn't play, 
And so there are some drawbacks here. So let's go into DAW mode just in case. And it still doesn't work. Obviously, the MPC Live 3 is not a DAW, but you get the point. And if I was to go right back over here to the top down view, you look at the bottom left side of the screen. If you want to see me press the button on the MPK and none of these buttons work right here. However, the basic functionalities all from this point all the way over to here on the unit work except for these right here. Just so that people know that I'm very familiar with how the MPC works. I will go over here and to my menu and you can go into MIDI control and you can set it up. You can set it up for success. You can also go over here and go to another mode. So MIDI learn and you can learn all of those functions right over here. Now that's great. And I will show you in another video on how to map MIDI controllers to your MPC. But right now we're doing a review. But yes, after you set things up to learn in the MPC Live 3 or any of the modern day MPCs, you can save the template within your MPC. Now I'm gonna pull up a plugin track. So let's go ahead and do that to see if it records okay. All right, got a preset here. Let's go ahead and hit the edit button so you can see this plugin. And we're safe there. So it does receive MIDI properly. I did that for a reason because I saw a friend of mine do a review on the MPK Mini 4 and they were having issues with whatever they played wasn't playing on the MPC the exact same way that it was playing on the keys after it being recorded. And it seems like that is fine for right now. I'll update you if it's not, but for right now, everything functions properly with the MPC except for the transport buttons. Spoiler alert, it does not work in FL Studio, or at least not for me, that is. It is important for me to point this out, and I just wanna make sure that everybody sees this. When you go into hardware, I believe when you go right over here to the MPK Mini 4, uh, you get this firmware updater. It has been open, and you can see it's there. Uh, you can see I have downloaded the FL Studio Control script, and I'm gonna go ahead and download this Cubase script just in case and, and make sure that I just cross my T's and dot my I's. To prove that I have downloaded the latest version of FL Studio to make this work, uh, I'm on the screen right here. When you go into FL Studio, you can update within the DAW now. Gotta show this screen, so I'm just gonna click next and all this other stuff. I don't think anything harmful will pop up on the screen. Now that we're in FL Studio, I can go over here to options and then go to MIDI settings. And then from here, I can see that it recognizes the MPK Mini 4, but if you pay attention to the left side of the screen, I am pressing on the pass and nothing is happening. I am in DAW mode, which allows me to, or is supposed to allow me to communicate with this. However, I don't know what the heck is going on. So let's just check out the Studio Instruments collection. Let's see if that works. It's important that you press this plugin and doll button because you can press the plugin button and now you will have the functionality that you can have within the software to pick out different presets and browse and use these knobs over here, which will be acting as macros and the pads will be just like drum pads. And what do you know? It works. <laughs> Twenty five keys, whatever. And I know I'm not doing and when I press on the pads, uh, I don't get anything yet, but if I was to load stuff in, uh, yes, you can get some sound. So I noticed the pads are a little rougher than usual. They are velocity sensitive, and you have what you call full levels, shift and latch will do that. So I'm glad that at least the studio collection works. And if I was to speak about the studio instrument collection, just think of it like the Cheerio Lab V type stuff. So uh, this is a Kai's version of their Cheerio Lab V type uh, presets where you can select your preset and play with things on the controller itself. And it is vast. It is a humongous library of sounds. So that is a plus. So why am I so down about this? Well, I'm not so sure why it'll be released in the state. Akai has a very good track record when it comes to their gear. And I know, and I say this with confidence, I know that it will be fixed. So I'm not 
too down about it as I am a little disappointed. And in case you're wondering, even though I'm not showing it, it technically wouldn't be able to be used type C to type C because the type C to type C on the MPC, by the way, not if you plug it up to your computer, uh, will not be able to power the MPK Mini 4. Now, those are some of the few cons, the, the pros that I like about this as I go over it. I love the design. I like the pads despite them being tiny. However, as a con, they don't seem as actionable as the other MPK pads or the MPC pads in general. The build quality, fairly decent. We gotta remember this is a $99 controller and you know that's how I feel about MIDI controllers in general. I don't necessarily get into the build quality because they're more unlikely gonna be more affordable. Uh, they are very <laughs> slim to none when you're talking about if you want something very sturdy in terms of a MIDI controller, uh, you will start spending a little bit more money. So I, I'm not gonna hold that against Akai. However, I wish that Akai would work on the functionality of the MPK Mini 4 when it comes to their software with other software. And then, you know, I did not test it out on a MacBook. So, you know, Apple users probably have something different. You know, sometimes that's the case when it comes to units. So I'm not too disappointed in the unit in itself because it works with the MPC. <laughs> and that's, that's that's what I technically was getting it for. It works with the MPC software, except for the transport buttons again. Now I'm just putting that message out there because what a lot of people will say is that I softball these reviews and that's not what I do, okay? The message should be relayed to the people over there, even though they did a phenomenal job with other things, the other aspects, it needs to be tested a little bit more. And, you know, feel free in the comment section to put your grievances, uh, share what you like and dislike about the unit. So far, I think it's good. Rating, maybe a six out of 10.